Hi there, my name is Precious from Clickit Academy and in this video I'm going to be showing you a simple and fast way of installing the Windows subsystem for Linus. So with this system you're going to get your Ubuntu set up on your system to you know Ubuntu is a distribution of Linus and definitely it will make it easier for you to do your shell commands. The very first thing you need to do is just to go to your control panel search for control panel open it up on your computer go to programs click on programs and features then go to the left hand pane and click on turn windows features on and off but before I do this I also want to show you another way or a very quick way to get here and all you need to do is just to click on the Windows icon and search for Windows features so turn Windows features on and off this is a quick way to get here instead of coming through your control panel click on it you see same screen then you scroll to the bottom you are looking for this Windows subsystem for Linus. As you can see, mine is checked, but yours will not be checked, or probably, I suppose. So all you need to do is just to click on it and make sure it is checked. Once it is checked, click on OK. So because I've done this before, my computer may not act the way yours is supposed to act. But at this stage, your computer is going to ask you, to reboot or to restart the system and that is what you should do exactly restart your system when you are on this page so when you are done with this section I'm having problem with this so when you are done with this section the next thing you need to do is to open your command line as an admin or PowerShell note you can use Windows terminal or you can use Windows PowerShell I like to use Windows Terminal, it makes no difference. So you click on it, then you open it, sorry about that, there was no changes to be made, that was why that error came up. So if you are on this screen, after you've uh, rebooted your system, type bash. Now take notes what will happen on my screen is different from what would happen on your screen if you have not completed the installation process so i'm going to click on enter so what you're seeing now is because i have already installed ubuntu on my system but on your system is going to throw up an error that says something about distribution not found and when it tells you that distribution is not found all you need to do is just to go to windows store this icon here or you can search for it again windows store open your windows store and this is where we're going to install the distribution for from so take notes first of all you go to windows features on and off then you check the box for the windows subsystem for Linux then after that it will ask you to restart your computer after restarting your computer you can open your command prompt and type bash or Windows PowerShell and type bash it's going to throw an error telling you that a Linux distribution has not been installed so that is not a problem so when you get that error all you need to do is just to come here and type Ubuntu because that is what we want to install when the search comes up it's going to show you a lot of distributions for ubuntu as you can see on mine apparently i have my ubuntu installed already but yours may not be installed so it will tell you get so something like this all you need to do is just to click on it you click on get so that it's going to download ubuntu on your system you click on get it's going to install Ubuntu on your system and once that is done it will take you to a page on your command prompt 
where you have to type in your password and your username. So basically, that is just it, and I'll see you in the next video.